In this video, we're going to look at finding the area under the curve, which means integrating when we've got parametric equations. So we've got x is 2t and y is t squared. So looking at the graph software, it's actually a parabola. Let's say we want the area between x is 4 and x is 0. So we want the area under the curve, which will be this area here. So going back, let's draw that in. So we're looking at this area here. So I'll draw that in again. So we've got a parabola here that looks a little bit like this. And we're doing it from where x is 0 to where x is 4. So we want this area here. So what does that mean? So that means we're going to integrate the function y with respect to x from where x is 0 to where x is 4. Now we know that y is equal to t squared. I'll write those down. So y equals t squared x equals 2t was our equation. And that's with respect to x. So we've got a problem here because we've got a t and we want to integrate with respect to x. So let's have a look at something. So down here we've got the integral of, or rather I've got, um, I'll just uh, undo that. We've got y is equal to some function of t. And we know that t is some function of x. So if I differentiate, I've got dy dx is equal to, now I'm going to have to do the chain rule here. So I'm going to differentiate the whole function, which is f dashed of t. And then I've got to differentiate that t. So I'm going to go dt dx because we know t is a function of x. Now if I integrate and go backwards, I've got my integral dy dx with respect to x, which must be equal to the integral of f dash t dt dx dx. But we also know that the integral of some function, let's call it f dash t, with respect to t is equal to f of t, and then plus a constant, but I'll ignore the constant. So it must be true that the integral of f dash t dt dx dx is equal to the integral of some function f dash t dt, and they're both equal to y. So it almost works like a fraction. So it works as if this dx and the dx cancel out like a fraction. Now, if that's true, it must also be true that if we want to integrate y with respect to x, we could put on a dt dt. And that must be equal to the integral of y dx. And it's almost like it works like a fraction and those dt's cancel out. So let's have a look now at, at our example. So let's get a new, a new page. So what did we have? We had our graph which goes from where x is 4 to where x is 0. And we want to integrate our y. I'll just write down my parametric equation. So we're integrating y with respect to x. And that's where x is 0 to where x is 4. And using our formula, we've got y, which is t squared, dx dt dt. 
Now well, that means we've got to differentiate x. So dx dt is equal to 2. So we've got our integral of t squared dx dt dt is equal to the integral of t squared dx dt is 2 dt. So we've got something now that we can integrate. So writing this down here, the integral of 2t squared, I'm going to put my 2 outside. And I've just left off the limits for the moment, and we'll see why in a minute. So I've got t squared dt, and I'm going to integrate that. t squared becomes t cubed, and we've got a 2 divided by 3 from the, the cubed. And that's from where x is 0 to where x is 4. Now, rather than changing the t back to x so I can put in the limits, I'm going to change my limits to t limits. So when x is 0, t must be equal to 0. And when x is 4, t must be equal to 2. So this would be the same as, I'm just going to leave out that constant, 2 over 3, t cubed from where t is 0 to where t is 2, with 2 thirds times by 2 to the power 3 minus 0, which is 16 divided by 3. And that's my answer.